yes, another video, you know you like it, it's the best ever. And I was trying to get a like a video of it. It was hilarious looking, like like it was like some meter car. And the guy, you know, he, he knew it was a meter car. Like he was just God, it was just funny looking. But it made me think back in the day to a time when we used to just buy cars like that for beating on them. And if you got a few a few bucks and some friends, you need to do this. Each one of y'all get like 20, 30 bucks down, you get like five, six people, whatever it takes, you'll find you a piece of shit car and buy it. And just, you know, be sure to video capture it, because we never did that, we were stupid, but uh, between me and my friends, I mean, you know, there was something like probably four or five different cars that we did that with at one point. And it was hilarious, it was good times. I want to say the first one we ever bought like that was like a, uh, uh, Mercury Tracer. It's kind of like a Ford, uh, I think it was like the same as like a Ford Escort from like the 90s, like the mid-early 90s, I think. And it was just shit. It was a garbage car, and it got totaled. It got like rear-ended. But he ended up like buying it back. He got more money that way, like with us buying it. I think we bought it off him for like two or three hundred bucks. And, you know, all we did with it was just, God, I want to weigh around this truck. We would just beat the shit out of it. You know, it ended up getting stuck in the mud a lot, uh, jumping it through intersections. Yeah, let's slow down to no speed at all. I think you should just go backwards for this turn, you bastard. And, yes. Am I going to be able to do it? Am I going to be able to? I feel good about it. Yes, ah. No, I don't want to go slow. 10 miles an hour? What the fuck? Oh, I was saying this turn is a 10 mile an hour turn. Not really. Shit's all rattling. But yeah, that car, uh... Wait till I get over this hill. That car was like, for the few weeks it lasted, was a shitload of fun. You know, it was an auto, at least like neutral dropping all the time, we didn't have no clutch to drop, so it was, you know, we ended up like fucking that transmission pretty good. Um, everyone ran the shit out of it. And I want to say it got to a point finally, like, we needed to, like, turn it into a junkyard, but, like, because we were so smart, we had, like, lost the VIN, I mean, the title. Without the title, you can't, you can't give a full car to a junkyard. So you have to do is you have to cut it in half so it's not a car, it's parts. So we literally, we cut it in half with, like, a, uh, some big tools. <laughs> it was a good day. It's fun times. And then, um, we had a few others after that. We had a, uh... I think the best example though, I can tell you all these other little ones we had, but the funniest one we had was a, uh, I was a, I want to say it was like a, another mid-90s car, early mid-90s, uh, Honda, what was that, the Accord, yeah, it was a four-door Accord with a five-speed, uh, some kind of two-liter, maybe a big, little bit bigger than that, um, we had that car, and boy, that thing was just the, the best beater we ever had bought, it had like 200 and like, 60 some odd thousand miles on it, and it still ran halfway decent. When we got it at least, it ran halfway decent. This time when it, it didn't. So. Yeah, that car was like, that truck didn't want to get over at all, y'all notice that? He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna stay in the middle, fuck you, bike. But. Yeah, that thing lasted for a little while though. We, we, they, we stripped all the interior out of it there was no like there was there was seats I mean you know and there was uh but there was no other stuff in it we we're like we're gonna lighten it for racing purposes we uh it had some like aftermarket intake on it so it kind of hold the hood so you can see the
the filter like sticking almost out through the hood, like angling a little bit so it would stick out. We're like, yeah, Ram Charger. <laughs> oh man, that shit was ridiculous. And we ended up uh, flat back and out like the whole car. And then somebody graffitied on it the uh, Budweiser crown on the side. And it was the coolest shit we'd ever seen, you know, like the little spikes, the little dots on the top. I mean, this shit was well done. And years later, we found out it was some friends of ours. They're like, well, we don't want you to be pissed, but we kind of graffitied on that, that car y'all had. We're like, we were impressed. Dude, you should have told us. We took pictures of it. Oh, it was funny. I remember riding in that car the one day my friend had a Suzuki Samurai with a big bumper on the front and he pit maneuvered us on the road. We were driving down the street and he just came up to us and just pit maneuvered us on the middle of the road. There's no traffic on the road. We were on the one right next to us and we were going the other way. They hadn't been thinking, what the fuck, you know? But that's just the dumb shit we would do and like not even think about it. I know like uh, one time he was parked in the uh, driveway. We had a really steep driveway and the back bumper of the car was ripped off and like in a lot of cars there's like these vents in the back I think they would let out like water for wherever to flood or something we actually used that to fill the car up because like there was no I think the back bumper had been ripped off from random drifting into shopping carts we did that a lot we did e-brakes slide it into shopping carts um, well we uh well, I filled it I put a hose in the back of the car and started filling it with water I mean man I got so much in there that the brakes started to like fail it was in gear and it was like chugging down the highway I was like oh sh or the driveway I was like oh shit we need to stop this is going too far and he comes out there like a few hours later even there's no interior in this car so he doesn't like there's nothing to get wet it's just on bare metal you know the seats were the only piece of like fabric left in the car well he gets in the car right he has no idea what's happened to it you know it's sitting like this and he's in the driver's part up top he backs it down out of the driveway and as soon as it hits like the flat spot all that water rushes up to his feet and he's like oh what the hell like i don't know man shit went down We had a good time, but then another time it was parked on the driveway the other way, we filled the exhaust full of water, and then we rolled it out to the street, fired it up, and it started. It was like a super soaker of water shooting out of the exhaust. It was just hilarious. Crazy lean angle. Um, man, that was hilarious. Good times. I can't think what else we did, so at finally at one point, people start running it over with their uh, jeeps that would come over to their house, and their trucks that would just run over it, that was funny, and then when it got down to like the point where it just didn't have much life left, they took it out to the woods, I wasn't there, and they, they jumped in off road it until it broke some of the suspension, it was just stuck, and then they, uh, everyone was running it over, and it was pretty much all that was left was an engine, they uh, fired it up and just held it off red over there. Oh, they were throwing shard glass into the intake. Someone had stolen the intake, all things. Yeah, someone stole the intake one time. Probably because there was no windows left on it. I think I hatcheted them all one day. And I ripped all his, uh... I ripped all his door handles off, so he had to leave the windows down anyway. <laughs> he was my roommate, I didn't care. He never paid me rent on time, so hell with him, right? Um, but yeah, man, he was like... Yeah, he stole the intake and he just kept driving it like that. So there was an open intake. So as they're holding the engine just off rev limiter, like with a brick or a rock or something on the pedal out in the woods, they were throwing shard glass into the intake and letting it crunch through the engine until it eventually destroyed the engine. Which surprisingly took a little while. Hello, doggy. Damn, Honda's built like a son of a bitch, though. I, I mean, all that shit we did to it, it took forever to kill that thing. Good times, though, man. I also can do that with bikes too. We had a bike, we called it the Panty Dropper. It was some like 500cc like V-twin. It was like a V-twin where it set like between your legs like this. It was drive shaft. And, um, hello doggies. Hello. And, um, neutral. 
and we got that thing for free, and we got it running, and for some reason we flat blacked it all out. Somebody, like, one of our friends had a deal to, pin, to print, uh, like, vinyl stickers, and he made this pink one with, like, pink, like, cursive writing and said panty dropper on the side, and we recovered the seat with, I want to say, like, a pink, like, like, shag shit we found in, like, a store. We bought it for, like, ten bucks, and we wrapped it and stapled it to the seat, and that thing was hilarious. We all just rode the shit out of that thing. We did wheelies on it and stuff. It was barely wheelie. It was hard to get to wheelie, but I would run it up curbs at like 20, 30 miles an hour because that's like a big old 21 front on it. And we ride around. I remember the throttle would stick on it, and the um, I think the uh, bearings and the uh, the, the uh, triples up there were kind of worn, so it would stick kind of good. And I would ride the thing, and I'd let the throttle let go of it. It would just stick. I would lean back in the seat and put my feet up on the, uh, the turn signals. They were like metal. And then I would cruise, like sitting way back on it. The thing would just track straight. It was hilarious. It's the weirdest thing if you ever do that. You lean left to go right and lean right to go left. I, I don't know why. But I would ride like down the main street of the neighborhood doing like, like, ah, God, doing like 25, 30 miles an hour. And uh, I would shoot the horn with my foot when I went by. Uh, oh, my mouth is full of bullshit now. Is that corn? No, it's not corn. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm not a farm boy. I don't know this shit. <laughs>